lost the flow, but never again. Back on our grind, you know what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is our year. Knock this down once, we got up again. Put in the work, so I know we gon' win. This is for real, we never pretend. We gotta win. Win, 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 yeah. I had to stop being basic. Oh. Part of my dreams had to chase me. Counting me out, I'm counting me in. Feel like a foe, but never again. They boxing me out, I never fit in. Never a foe, never could be. Just wanna win, win, win.
Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Averett Sports Network. My name is Thomas Heaney III, and today we'll be featuring the Randolph-Macon Yellow Jackets versus your Averett University Cougars. Randolph-Macon is 10-5 and five on the year and 5-2 and two in the ODAC, and Averett is 3-9 and nine on the year and 1-6 and six in the ODAC. Cougars are coming off of a loss to number 11 Washington and Lee University last Saturday, and the Yellow Jackets are coming off of a 13-9 win over number 9 University of Lynchburg last Saturday. This mar marks the first time that these two programs have met, and Connor Taff, the junior, became the program's all-time leading scorer at Randolph College on last, uh, last week. Cameron Prutzman, the freshman, set the program record for single-season saves against Bridgewater College. So we're going to get into the starting lineups here for your Averett University Cougars. So we're going to have number two, Nick Byers. Number five, Anthony Garay. Number eight, Lachlan Sterling. Number 10, Ty Pearson. Number 20, Angel Pascal Roman. Number 22, Connor Taff. Number 23, Calvin Beavers. Number 77, Tyler Duffy. And number 93, Braden Powers. And that goal for the Cougars, number 17, Cameron Prutzman, as just mentioned, the freshman set the all-time record for goals saved. And we're going to get into the starting lineups here for the visiting Randolph-Macon Yellow Jackets here in just a minute. Number four, Riley Rain. Number 12, Austin Payne. Number 13, Cameron Foti. Number 18, Cooper Hauser. Number 22, Jack Smith. Number 23, Mike Allen. Number 29, Matthew Study. Number 34, RJ Goodman. Number 41, J JD Spots. And number 49, Owen Gua. So we're just about ready to get started here at Owen Fulton Field, excuse me, uh, <coughs> Frank R. Campbell Stadium, as it is 58 degrees here in Danville, Virginia. Luckily, the rain has held off for us as it was in the forecast that it was going to rain here, but so far, no rain on the field just yet, so we'll keep you updated if that changes, and this one should be a good one here as Randolph Macon, as mentioned, 10-5 and five on the year, and Averett looking to turn things around here as they're 3-9, and 1-6 and six in the ODAC. So this one should be a good one, and we'll be right back with you with the National Anthem right after this break.
Welcome back to the Averett Sports Network, and we're just about ready here to listen into the national anthem. So let's listen in. Welcome back in, everybody, as both teams here are just about ready to get this one started. Randolph-Macon College versus the Averett University Cougars here at Frank R. Campbell Stadium. <coughs> the Cougars will be wearing their navy jerseys, and Randolph-Macon will be in white. As we meet here at midfield, and we're just about ready here to get this first face-off underway. Both teams looking for a win. Randolph-Macon looking to make it six wins in the ODAC. Averett looking to get their second win. The season here is coming to an end. Both teams break away from midfield, and we are just about ready here to get started. And we are just about ready here as Averitt will start with the ball. Excuse me, Averitt in white, Randolph Macon in black. Averitt will start on the left side with Garai with the ball, passing it over to Hobbs. Duffy now passes it back behind the net. Tyler Duffy, freshman standout so far this season for the Cougars out of Roanoke, Virginia. So he has the ball now here, looking to move it inside, passes it over to Hobbs. Right now, the burst of speed tries to spin move inside. Good move, passes it back behind the net. It's Connor Taft now. Taft, good move to the left, puts up the shot, and it's blocked. Good save. Cougars will keep possession here with Taft. Now Tyler Duffy moves along past the 25-yard line. Good burst of speed. Puts up the shot and scores. Tyler Duffy gets the Cougars on the board first. What a shot there by Tyler Duffy. As just mentioned, the freshman standout there 
Had a great season so far. Make that his 21st goal on the year. Tyler Duffy set the program record for most goals in a single game this year with six. And that one gets the Cougars on the board first at the 13-27 mark. So we'll have another faceoff right here on the Cougars. Strike first. And this faceoff goes to Randolph Macon as they'll start here with the ball. That's J.D. Spots. Over to Jamie Smith. Randolph Macon on offense here. They're very explosive offense so far this year, averaging just over 16 goals a game. 46 shots per game as well. So they've had a great offense this year, and obviously they'll be looking to continue that today here. They push this one inside. Good move, good shot, just missed. That was number 16, Robinette. Randolph Macon here, pushes it inside, puts up the shot and misses. A couple bodies hit the deck there. And they will keep possession here and move it around. As that's Jack Smith now pushing it over. Puts up the shot and a good save there by Prutzman. That was Austin Payne on the shot. Pretty good look, three pretty good looks there for the Yellow Jackets, but they can't put one in. They met Cameron Prutzman, the freshman. Ball on the ground here, picked up by the Yellow Jackets. Oh, good move there by Ethan uh, Ronat as he puts up the shot, and it's just over the net. But pretty good move there by the sophomore. This one's going to go over to Lachlan Sterling. Sterling now tries to find a Cougar. Can't. It's going to be turned over, and now moving it over to the right side of the field are the Yellow Jackets. Good passing here. Inside Payne over. And it looks like, yep, looks like we have a goal there by the Yellow Jackets. Good pass, this good display of passing there. We'll get that goal for you here in a second. But Austin Payne, the sophomore, set that one up beautifully, and it gets the Yellow Jackets on the board. So we are all tied up here now. One one, eleven forty three left to go in this first period. The Yellow Jackets now get the ball right back as that's number 13, Cameron Foti. And that goal was scored by <coughs> number 22, Jack Smith, the junior. So Jack Smith ties us all up here at one apiece. Over to Jamie Smith. Jamie Smith now with a burst of speed passes it back over to the top, puts up that shot, and that shot is also going to go for the Yellow Jackets. That's Kevin Andrews, the senior there, putting the shot up from way downtown, and that gives the Yellow Jackets a two to one advantage here early, the 11:03 mark. So as I just talked about earlier, Randolph Macon averaging 16 goals per game, and obviously that has been a big part of their success so far this year, as they're 10 and five. Overall, 5-2 and two in the ODAC, and so far, two goals early by the Yellow Jackets to answer the Tyler Duffy goal that we saw just a couple of minutes ago. And this faceoff is going to be on the ground, scooped up by the Yellow Jackets, and passed back over to the goaltender. So now the Yellow Jackets again here on the break, as they will pass this one over. Pass over to Tankersley here. Tankersley, the stutter step, pass it back over and look like we might have another long range shot there. So that one is put up, but this is the net. That was Pritchard. The Yellow Jackets now trying to cause some more damage as number 
number 22, Jack Smith, moving along with the ball. Had the first goal for Randolph, Col Randolph making college. Good defense there by the Cougars is brought the double team there. Oh, great pass inside there by Randolph making. That shot is going to go up and good. And that was number 16 there, Ethan Robin Knight on the shot. Puts up Randolph making three to one here early. And that explosive offense that Randolph Macon has is coming to display here early with three goals. And we just are under the 10 minute mark. So Averett here in desperate need of an answer. So Randolph Macon is really heating up here. And this faceoff is going to be picked up by Randolph Macon. They're going to run the break again. Let's see what they can do. Pass over inside and the shot and the score again by Randolph Macon. That looked like number 29, Matthew Suddy, the freshman. And so Randolph Macon here. Explosive early first period with four goals. Just a couple minutes in here. So Nick Byers now will line up here for a very important faceoff. Averett really desperately needs to get this faceoff and try to get some looks here on the left side of the field. It's been all the Yellow Jackets so far early after the Tyler Duffy goal. As this faceoff, <coughs> this faceoff is going to be picked up again by the Yellow Jackets, and they are running again as that is put up and great save there by uh, Cameron Prutzman. That shot was put up by Brody Kent, the freshman. So this pass here goes awry, and now Yellow Jackets back on the attack. Yellow Jackets have been passing very well here. That one's again inside and put up and scored. So Matthew Suddy finds his second goal in just a matter of minutes, the freshman. <clears throat> so Suddy now puts up his second goal, and it leads the Yellow Jackets 5-1 to one here. The 921 mark. So once again, Byers will line up for the faceoff. This one's going to be on the ground, picked up by the Yellow Jackets, and they will move this one along. Gets that one inside. And another good display of passing here by the Yellow Jackets, as you see, moving it towards the crease. Matthew Suddy. In the X area here. Jack Smith. But great defense by the Cougars. And we're going to have a whistle, though. And we'll go the other way to Averett. And now let's see what Averett can do here as they now have the ball. Five unanswered goals by the Yellow Jackets, but obviously still plenty of time in the first period here. Lachlan Sterling now is met by two swarming Yellow Jackets. And now that ground ball is going to be picked up by Jack Smith. And now it's moved over to Suddy. Suddy back over. Shot is up and shot is good by the Yellow Jackets. So another goal, six unanswered here. As that one was scored by Jamie Smith, the senior. And we will have our first time out of the game. Six to one Yellow Jackets here at the 828 mark. We'll be right back with you on the Averett Sports Network. Everett University provides all you need for your future through learning that embraces all of your infinite potential. With flexible online and on-campus programs, affordable tuition, and over 50 majors and programs. Visit allaverett.com. Are you all in?
Welcome back, everybody, to the Averitt Sports Network. My name is Tomasini the Third, and we're back after that timeout. It's Randolph Macon finds himself with a six to one early lead. Goals by Smith, Robin Nett, uh, Smith again, and Andrews. And it has been a good display of passing here by Randolph Col Randolph Macon College as they win another faceoff here, and they'll take this one to the right side of the field. That's over to Smith. Smith now passes it back over to Foti. Foti now, good move inside there, tries to get it in. He's going to pass it back behind the X area. Oh, good pump fake there as that puts up the shot, but it's blocked before it could reach Pressman. Crab ball is going to be picked up, though, by Spots. Spots now. Randolph Macon has been playing a very fast paced, aggressive game here. He's going to slow this one down. Just under the eight minute mark in the first period. Seems like Randolph Macon has been pushing the tempo a lot, trying to get it inside, move it in. Put up good passes. Is pass this one back over to the 30 yard line. Oh, good spin move there. Juke move there, excuse me. And that one is put up and good by Austin Payne, the sophomore. And that gets Randolph making up to seven goals here in the first period. Seven unanswered after Tyler Duffy's opening goal. But a really good move there by Austin Payne. Juke move, moves inside, puts up the shot in the left corner of the net. So Averitt now down 7-1 to one here early. This one's going to be won again by Randolph Macon. Good defense there by Nick Byers. It'll be picked up, though, by the Yellow Jackets. This pass gets onto the stick of R.J. Goodman. Goodman will move this one over to Cooper Hauser. Jamie Smith now passes it back over to number 13, Cameron Foti. That's Duncan O'Brien now with the ball. Duncan O'Brien now sprints inside. Might take the shot, but he'll pass it off. He's going to go back over to Jamie Smith. Jamie Smith spin moves. Puts up the shot and scores again for Randolph Macon. As Jamie Smith with his second goal of the day. Senior puts the shot up and good. And that gets Randolph Macon up to 8-1 to one here. At the 638 mark. So Averitt after the timeout. Macon still putting the pressure on, keeping the tempo up. There's been a couple of times where the Yellow Jackets might have had a shot, but instead they'll pass it up for a better shot, and it's worked so far. And Randolph Macon already halfway to their season average on goals per game, so now they have it again here. 15-yard line pass inside. The shot is up, and the shot is good. And that looked like number 13, Cameron Foti. So, ran <coughs> excuse me, Randolph Macon here opens up a 9 to 1 lead <coughs> at the 622 mark in the first period. This will be Connor Taft now moving in to the circle. Face off here. So this one is going to be moved onto the ground, picked up by the Yellow Jackets, and they're going to move again here. That is number 29, Matthew Study. So Jack Smith passes it back over to Study. Study now back to Jack Smith. As we're approaching just under six minutes here at Frank R. Campbell Stadium. This one's going to be moved inside. Just couldn't get that pass to go in the middle. But Jack Smith will hustle over, pick up the ball, keep it at here with the Yellow Jackets. Avery Tankersley here. Tankersley, ball on the left side of his stick, passes it over. And that pass over the head of number 21, Ryan Pritchett. Pritchard, excuse me. 
and Averett now will have the ball with Calvin Beavers. He's going to make something happen. They'll pass it back over to the goaltender, Pretzman. Pretzman now gets it onto the stick of Dawson Hobbs. Hobbs is going to try to make a long-range pass. It's deflected, but picked back up by Etheridge. Etheridge does a great job there keeping possession as he's met by a swarm of Hornets. Or excuse me, Yellow Jackets. This one is going to be moved over by Tyler Duffy. Duffy now back over to Etheridge. Avery will now slow it up here as Dawson Hobbs looking to stop this 9-1 to run here. Excuse me, 9-0 to run by Randolph Macon College. This one's a good pass inside over to Connor Taff. What a great save there, denying Taff leading goal scorer so far this season by the Cougars. And as mentioned in the pregame, Connor Taff, the junior, became the program's all-time leading scorer. But right there, he's denied. And now the Randolph Macon College Yellow Jackets here moving it with number 24, Kevin Andrews. Back over to Cameron Fody. Fody. Good save there by Cameron Prutzman. As another good display of passing by the Yellow Jackets. This one gets over to Duffy. Great pass by Duffy, but it can't get on the stick of Powers. As what a hit there by Tyler Duffy. But the Yellow Jackets will keep possession here. It's a good pass under pressure. And now O'Brien will pass it over. Long range shot. This is the net there. Austin Payne fired that one over towards the net but missed. The Yellow Jackets will keep possession here. This one's back over to O'Brien. Jamie Smith now will stutter step, move over towards the right. It's going to be a bouncer that's picked up by Pressman. Great save there. Good shot trying to get that one to bounce in, but Pressman was met by it. Now the Cougars on the attack. Tyler Duffy now moves along past the 10-yard line. His double teams still trying to fight out of that and can't. It's too many Yellow Jackets there. They'll move this one over. Running the break now. Jamie Smith. Smith passes that one off. It's going to be a long shot and a long goal by number 18, Cooper Hauser, the sophomore. Puts that one in. That is Randolph making his 10th goal in the first period. So... Great showing here early by the Yellow Jackets and for the Cougars. Definitely need to start getting some momentum going. Going into the second period as we got 242 left in the first. But for Hauser, that's his first goal on the day. Sophomore, so back here for the faceoff. This one's gonna be picked up by the Yellow Jackets, number 33, Avery Tankersley. Pass inside, and the shot is up, and the shot is good by number 41, J.D. Spots, the junior. As he's swarmed by his teammates there. That is Randolph Macon's 11th goal in the first period here. And for a team that averages 16 goals per game, they creeping up on that already early in this game. And so now here, another face-off after the Randolph making goal. This one's going to go the other way to Averett here on the left side. That's Etheridge. Etheridge, though, falls to his feet, gets back up. Hobbs to Garai. Garai now. Spinning his stick over past the 30-yard line. With just about two minutes to go in this first period. Averett 
scored first with Tyler Duffy, but since then it's been an 11-0 run by the Yellow Jackets as Garay passes this one over to Hobbs. Hobbs puts up the shot, misses. Here he gets it back though. 40 seconds left on the shot clock. <coughs> And Duffy now puts up the shot and it's saved. They'll cover this one up. Floater pass there to get it over. This pass is going to go over to number 12, Payne. Payne puts up the shot and it's over the net. And with 117 left in the first period, Randolph Macon will keep this one on their side of the field. This one's going to go back over to Jamie Smith. Jamie Smith, two goals in the first period so far. Yellow Jackets will slow this one up here. It's Lachlan Sterling there on defense. stutter step inside there by Jack Smith and Jack Smith moves inside puts up the shot and scores so number 22 there the junior Jack Smith with another goal as that is the second goal by Jack Smith so far in this game at the 47 mark in the first period so Randolph Macon College now leads 12 to 1 with 12 unanswered goals after the Tyler Duffy opener. <coughs> this faceoff is going to get picked up by Cameron Fody. They pass over to Payne. Payne looked like he was going to wind up and said passes it back over. As we're approaching just about 15 seconds here. Good pass inside. Good save by Cameron Prutzman there to deny the Yellow Jackets. They get the rebound, though. Pass over to number 29. Puts up the shot. Misses. That was Matthew Study there. Put up a pretty good shot as Randolph Macon was able to get that missed shot back. And now with two seconds, Study puts up another shot, and it's wide left. And with that, the first period comes to an end. Randolph making college. 12 unanswered goals after the Tyler Duffy opener that put Averett up 1-0. And it now leads 12-1 for the Yellow Jackets as we will be right back with you for the second period after this break. For more than 40 years, Averett University's athletics programs have competed in the USA South. Now we begin a new era as a member of the Old Dominion Athletic Conference. We will continue to build on our traditions. We'll continue to develop our student athletes into tomorrow's leaders as catalysts for positive change. With 24 NCAA and club varsity sports, will bring championship aspirations, high academic success, and a focus on community service. We bring first-class facilities, and we will continue to build for the future. We'll renew old rivalries and create new ones in the ODAC. We'll do it as one team, one family, one Avery. Welcome back, everybody, to the Averett Sports Network. My name is Thomas Heaney III, and second period right here. We're about to face off as Randolph-Macon opened up a 11-goal lead in the first period. 
12 total goals. Austin Payne, Fody, Smith, Hauser, Jamie Smith, and Kevin Andrews all counting for Yellow Jackets goals. And for Averett, Tyler Duffy scored the opening goal of the game, but since then it's been all Yellow Jackets as well. Flip sides here as the Yellow Jackets will be on the left side of the field. And Payne now will pass it over to the left side. That's Jack Smith. This pass is going to go over the head of number 24, Kevin Andrews, but picked back up. Uh, good defense here by the Cougars. 35 seconds on the shot clock. Yellow Jackets struggling to push this one inside here. It's a good spin move, though, and a good save by Cameron Prutzman, the freshman, to deny that one as this one is going to be rolled over onto the ground and picked back up by the Yellow Jackets, and they'll be on the attack again with Mike Allen. Payne, good pass inside, puts up that shot, and that one is going to go again by number 22, Jack Smith, the junior. So Randolph making college 13 to one lead here as they get the first goal of the second period. For Jack Smith, that'll give him the hat trick on the night. Three goals. So Averett trails now in this one, 13 to one, early in the second period. Faceoff is going to be picked up here by the Yellow Jackets in number 17, Brody Kent. Kevin Andrews now standing at the 45 yard line. Going to now move this one over towards the middle of the field. That one is wound up and shot over the net by Jack Smith looking for his fourth goal, fourth goal of the day. Couldn't get that one to go. The Yellow Jackets will keep possession here though. That shot is gonna be wound up and great save again by Cameron Prutzman. So Pretzman here with a pretty good showing. Despite the first goal, this one's going to be put up and again blocked by Pretzman, but Randolph Macon gets it again and again blocked by Pretzman. O'Brien now, Randolph Macon still with possession here despite a couple of Pretzman saves. This one is going to be blocked again by Pretzman. Great save again. Gets three saves here on one possession as O'Brien lines up, puts it up, misses. So Cameron Pretzman here standing tall. Early in the second period, despite the amount of shots that have been put up by the Yellow Jackets. Good pass inside there as that shot is going to hit the post, it looked like. And now we're going to have a scrum for the ball and a whistle. And this one will go the other way to Averett. So good defense there by Averett and Cameron Pressman. Multiple good saves there to keep the Yellow Jackets at 13 as we'll push this one over now. Mike Hernandez now, the defenseman. Averett now back behind the X area here with Tyler Duffy, who has the lone Averett goal so far in this game. As he moves this one over towards the middle, fighting off defenders, puts up that shot, goes left, misses the net. Averett, though, <coughs> will keep possession here as they trail 
This one 13 to 1. Garai spin moves around. Dawson Hobbs now will pass this one to the right side of the field to Duffy. Duffy now tries to move around. Defender here tries to keep it on a stick. He'll try to get it over to Garai, but that pass goes over down towards the right side here, and it's going to be picked up by the Cougars, it looks like, and now hit out of bounds as Connor Taft was really fighting for that one. But it will go the other way here to the Yellow Jackets as this one is going to go all the way over down towards the 10-yard line. Back over here, the Yellow Jackets with Jack Smith, who has three goals in this game. Moves this one over. And that one is going to be moved over to number 33 with the shot. Avery Tankersley. Avery Tankersley puts that one up and in for Randolph Makins. 14th goal in the game. So that is Tankersley's first goal on the day. And it puts the jacket, Yellow Jackets up by 13 goals. Man, that is a hard hit there on J.D. Spots. That Spots hits the deck there. and No Jackets will keep possession, though. This one's going to go over to Ryan Pritchett. Good juke move inside there. He's going to get this one back towards the middle. Robin Nett here, back over towards the middle. Ooh, good spin move there as he gets a great pass inside, but can't corral it. And now this one will go the other way to the Cougars, but a really good move there by Ethan Robinette. So now Jay Etheridge now with the ball. He's going to move it over to Dawson Hobbs as we're just under nine minutes to go here in the second period at Frank R. Campbell Stadium as Hobbs is double teamed and swarmed and kind of a whistle on the Yellow Jackets. Looks like maybe number 20, Christian DeVault. So now number 44, Chris Shamira. Anthony Garay, Yellow Jackets doing a really good job at double teaming the Cougars, forcing turnovers here as that one was on Garay and then the previous one on Dawson Hobbs, forcing a lot of turnovers here early in this game. Cougars will keep possession though and Garay will have the ball. to Wood. Wood now tries to move it inside. And that pass cannot land on the stick of number 20, Angel Pascal Roman. Now the Yellow Jackets running the break here. Pass over to Jack Smith. Jack Smith will like to slow this one down here. As mentioned, three goals so far as he spins a stick, looking to find a yellow jacket. He's done a great job early at passing it around, moving it towards the crease. Let's see if they try to do that again here. As Jack Smith, there it is, passes it inside towards the crease, but blocked by Prutzman. Good save by Cameron Prutzman. Ralph Macon's able to corral the miss, though, and keep possession. Jack Smith again looks to pass it inside to Payne. 
Can't get that one to go. To O'Brien, O'Brien. That shot is put up and blocked and all the way back over to the 50 hard line there. As the Cougars deny that look by number 24, Kevin Andrews, the senior. Andrews looking for his second goal there, but it was denied. The front lines with the Cougars. So now the Yellow Jackets here will have it with Payne. That was Emmett Wood there on the offsides for the Cougars. That one's going to be fired in and scored by the Yellow Jackets and number 18, Cooper Hauser. <clears throat> the sophomore there on the board now. Excuse me, his second goal. Second goal on the day for Hauser. And that gets Randolph Macon up to 15-1 to here and 15 unanswered. 647 mark. So thanks to the sophomore, Cooper Hauser, Randolph Macon opens up a 14-goal lead now in the second period, and this faceoff will go to the Yellow Jackets. Bodie now takes it inside, puts up a crazy shot there. Cameron Fody with a behind-the-back shot. And that one gets Randolph Macon to 16 to 1 here. It was just a terrific shot by the senior. Trick shot like there by Fody, and he puts it in for his third goal. Excuse me, his second goal on the day. And Randolph Macon meets their average so far on the year at 16 goals per game here in the second period. As this one is going to be won by. The Yellow Jackets and moved over inside. Pass over to Jamie Smith. Smith now moves it in, puts up that shot. It's going to go wide left. So now Jack Smith now. Back over to Ryan Pritchard. Passing here by the Yellow Jackets as the shot is going to be put up. Blocked by Prutzman. Randolph Macon will keep possession here under six minutes to go. Over to Avery Tankersley, who has a goal in the second period, looking for more. Passes it over to the middle. Ryan Pritchard. Pritchard back to Tankersley. Good defense, though, by the Cougars, not allowing Tankersley to get that shot up. And this one is going to go back up to the middle. Payne puts up the shot and scores. So Austin Payne, sophomore, gets Randolph making up to 17 goals now here in the first half for Payne. That is his second goal in the afternoon. So Randolph Macon doing a good job at passing it around, looking for the open look. And it looks like we will have a timeout here on the field. So Randolph Macon has opened up a 17 to 1 lead here in the second period. We'll be right back with you after these messages.
Welcome back, everybody, to the Averett Sports Network. My name is Thomas Heaney III, and if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here, Averett, U Averett Cougars U, for all the highlights, weekly highlights, game broadcasts, and all. Be sure to subscribe as Randolph-Macon College has opened up a 17-1 to lead here in the second period. And Averett will start with the ball here on the right side of the field. Garai moves it over to Duffy. Duffy and Garai playing catch here at the top. Connor Taft, the leading goal scorer for the Cougars, leading point scorer all time as he accomplished that feat last week as Averett being patient here over to Hobbs. And tries to find Etheridge there, but can't get on his stick. But he'll pick it back up. Averill will keep possession. There's a good pass inside there to Taft, but Taft can't pick it up. Ball still loose here. And it looks like the Cougars will not have it. It'll go back to the Yellow Jackets there as that ground ball was on the ground for a while as they'll push this one back over inside. And couldn't get that pass to go. So pretty high pace here after the timeout. As this one is going to be on the ground but scooped up. As Taff has a problem finding it. He picks it back up at his feet. And now the Cougars will look to end this 17-0 route. 17-0 uh, uh, run here by Randolph-Macon College. I was going to go back over to Duffy. Duffy now at the 30-yard line, surveying his options over to Etheridge. Hobbs now back over to Etheridge, picks it back up. 27 seconds on the shot clock here. Averitt looks to move in as Taff will set it up here. Maybe get a pass inside to the crease. Taff now with just 10 seconds on the shot clock. He's going to have to move it over to Duffy. Can't get it on his stick. Excuse me, Hobbs. Hobbs now, three seconds. That pass tries to get it inside. The horn will blow. And that will go the other way to Randolph-Macon. So now Randolph-Macon move this one over. Good display of passing there. Lines that one up, fires, and scores. That looked like number 18, Cooper Hauser, the sophomore, getting that one to go for Randolph-Macon. And so now 18 unanswered by the Yellow Jackets. Again, most of these goals scored by the Yellow Jackets are off of assists and good passing towards the middle of the net. And we saw another one right there. So 2.47 left to go in the second period. This faceoff will be won by the Yellow Jackets and moved over with spots here. Puts that shot up. Looks like it hit off the post maybe. And picked back. Up here as Calvin Beavers was fighting for it. And he'll get rewarded with it as Beavers tries to find a Cougar, but it'll be over the head of it looked like Garai as this one for the Yellow Jackets. Be on the left side here with number 46. Yellow Jackets here, 50 seconds left on the shot clock. This one's going to be wound up, but met over the head of Prutzman as looked like number 24 there, Kevin Andrews, took that shot.
pass over towards the middle and that another good pass but great save by Cameron Prutzman there to deny the Yellow Jackets as another good display of passing but that one Cameron Prutzman was ready for and on and keeps them at 18 here as Yellow Jackets take the ball here 123 left a whistle and it looks like a timeout so we'll be right back with you for the conclusion of the first half here at Frank R. Campbell Stadium after the break. Welcome back, everybody, to the Averett Sports Network. My name is Thomas Heaney III, and we're back into action here for the conclusion of this first half that is seen right off Macon College. Answer Tyler Duffy's opener goal and score 18 straight since. Ten of those 18 goals by Randolph Macon have been assisted, and most of them have been near the crease. So Randolph Macon has had a pretty good game plan coming into this one as we will see Matt Carter now with the ball subbing in here for the first time in the afternoon. Matt Carter, the freshman, will have it behind the net here as he stutter steps and passes it over to number 27, Peyton Rodriguez. Rodriguez now. Good pass again inside towards the crease, and the shot is up, and the shot is good. And that was Matt Carter, the freshman, coming into the game and scoring. So make that 19-1 to now. Randolph making college at the 49-second mark. So for Matt Carter, that is his third goal on the year. And again, Randolph Macon. Good setup inside towards the crease and getting up a pretty good shot. So Randolph Macon now opens up a 19 to 1 lead here. Let's see if the Cougars, 49 seconds left in this one, can maybe get a goal before this half ends as it's going to be on the ground. Etheridge finds himself hitting the deck. Still fighting forward, and this one will come up to the Yellow Jackets. And so with just 20 seconds left here in this first half, this one's going to go over to Tyler Dyson. Dyson looking to maybe strike one more time before this half ends as he moves inside, puts up the shot, and he does just that as Tyler Dyson, the freshman, puts up that shot and scores, and that gets Randolph Macon to the 20-goal mark here in the first half. So Randolph, Ma Randolph Macon is striking early and often here. They get that one to go, and... That makes it 20 to 1. Randolph Macon College here in this one. And another goal assisted on is that is the 11th assist for Randolph Macon in this game. And just eight seconds left to go in this first half as the faceoff is won by the Yellow Jackets, but lost and picked up by the Cougars. And the horn will blow. And that one puts an end to the first half, which was all Randolph Macon College. They lead this one 20 to 1 in the first half, and we will be right back with you after the break 
for the second half here at Frank R. Campbell Stadium between the Yellow Jackets and the Cougars.
Welcome to the second half here on the Averett Sports Network. My name is Thomasini the third, and we're about ready to get this second half started. Randolph Macon College opened up a 20 to one lead after Tyler Duffy started the game with the inaugural goal. And that half saw Austin Payne, two goals, Cameron Foti, two goals, Cooper Hauser, two goals, Jack Smith, four goals, Matthew Study, two goals, JD Spots, one goal. Matt Carter, a goal, Jamie Smith, two goals, Ethan Ronette, a goal, Kevin Andrews, a goal, and finally, Avery Tankersley, a goal. So we will flip sides here to the right side of the field, and Randolph Macon starts it off with a miss over the net. Matthew Study with six assists in that first half as well. So 11 of the 20 goals scored by the Yellow Jackets were assisted on, and that was the story of the first half. It was the way the Yellow Jackets were pushing the ball inside, getting good looks near the net towards Prutzman, and Jack Smith also with three goals as well. So the Yellow Jackets will start it over here with number 10, Matt Carter. The freshman came in and scored his third goal on the year at the end of the first half. So this one's going to be put up, and a good save there by Prutzman. Gets his body in front of it. But again, after the good save by Prutzman, Avery can't corral the rebound and goes right back to the Yellow Jackets. So number five, Jack Carter passes this one inside. The ball is going to hit the ground. Still loose. This one's going to be picked up and put up and scored by Peyton Rodriguez, the freshman out of Santa Barbara, California. So make that 21 to 1 now. And the Yellow Jackets have opened up a 20 goal lead here. So here is the faceoff after the goal with Luis Martinez. Jolambe also into the game for the Cougars. And Randolph Macon will take the ball here with number 19, Logan Sinsbox. Jack Carter now, the freshman. That one is going to go up and scored. So another goal here by Randolph Macon College, and that puts it up to 22 to 1. And so that goal scored by Tyler Dyson, his sixth goal on the year. And his second one in this game as he scored one before the first half concluded. So he's back on the board with his second goal. To start the second half. This faceoff picked up by the Cougars. And we will see the Cougars take it on the left side of the field here with Tyler Duffy. Anthony Garay now with the ball. He'll push it back towards the back of the net. Tyler Duffy has it now. Tyler has the lone Cougars goal in this game. Started off the game with a lead. But since that moment, Randolph Macon has... Taken over this one with 22 unanswered. <clears throat> as this one is going to be moved over towards the middle to Cameron Fody. Fody now in towards the middle of the net. Can't get that shot to go. Peyton Rodriguez, the X area back there, had the first goal of the second half here. Number zero in the game, Matt Williams out of Richmond, Virginia. Subs into the game here. Peyton Moyer also into the game. Now you see him behind the X area with the ball. Passes it inside. Tries to put up a circus shot there behind the back in Peyton Rodriguez, but can't go. 
This one's going to be turned over. Rodriguez with the ball, and very unlucky there as it hits the post. Very fortunate for Cameron Prutzman. <coughs> so now Chap Hale of Roanoke, Virginia. Freshman comes into the game here, has the ball. Matt Williams, number zero, passes that one over inside to number 51, Chap Hale, and the freshman puts it in at a Patrick Henry High School, gets that one to go, and gets Randolph Macon up to 23 goals. So for Chap Hale, that is his first goal of the season and his first goal in his collegiate career. And it puts up Randolph Macon 23-1. to one. So Chap Hale on the board in this one and on the board for his collegiate career as this one is going to go to the left side of the field here. And the Cougars will take the ball and hit the deck there. Look like number 24, Mike Hernandez. This one's going to go all the way towards the Randolph Macon side of the field, and a whistle will be blown. Looks like this one's going to go the other way, and it will to the Cougars. So Ty Pearson now will pass this one over to Tyler Duffy. And it's going to be turned over. The Yellow Jackets with numbers. Tries to put up a bounce shot, can't get it to go. Referee is asking for 35 seconds onto the shot clock here. So now 44, Tyler Dyson, two goals in this one. Stands alone at the top. Back over to number 10, Matt Carter. Over to Dyson. Dyson now will stutter step, tries to move it in, but the Cougars with good defense. Jack Carter here is met by number 44, Chris Shamira. Shamira now, good stick work there. Pass and towards the middle, and the shot is up, and the shot is good for Randolph Macon. So that is number 27 there, Peyton Rodriguez, freshman out of Santa Barbara, California. Puts that one in and extends the Randolph Macon lead to 24 to 1. So yet, <coughs> excuse me, yet another goal here assisted on by the Yellow Jackets, and that has been the driving force here for them their success near the net as it was assisted by Matt Carter. And for Peyton Rodriguez, that is his fifth goal on the year. So this one is going to be picked up by the Yellow Jackets in number 40, Patrick Moyer. Vince Box passes it over to the left side of the field. And Rodriguez, who just scored our last goal by the Yellow Jackets in possession of the ball, passes it all the way back up to the top. And with 30 seconds here on the shot clock, Randolph Macon taking their time. Pass to the middle, 
shot from the 25 yard line is wide over the net. Shot was just off line there and only 15 seconds here. Shot clock, Randolph Macon's gonna have to move a little bit fast. This one's gonna be fired over the net. Shot taken by Cannon Varnara. So just nine seconds now and Randolph Macon is gonna have to move quickly here. Gonna take another shot and it's gonna go wide left again. So Randolph making their three shots. All of them missed the net there. And just three seconds on the shot clock. The horn will go. And this one will go the other way to the Avery Cougars. Lachlan Sterling now. Good pass across to Calvin Beavers. Beavers now running the break by himself. Good play there by Beavers to keep possession for the Cougars. Connor Taft now back behind the net. And that shot is up and hits the post. Very unlucky shot there by number five, Anthony Garay. As it's been that kind of day for the Cougars, just couldn't get that one to go. And now this one will go the other way to the Yellow Jackets. But regardless, a really good opportunity there by the Cougars. And Garay, the good shot, just hit the post. So as we hit the seven minute mark here in the third period, Yellow Jackets in possession of the ball with the lead 24 to one. As we've seen four you know, making goals here in the third period. Good save there by Prutzman. And again, they get the shot off of the save. We're gonna have a whistle and it'll go the other way to the Avery Cougars. So good save there by Cameron Pretzman, who's seen a lot of shots today, 60 of them to be exact, and 39 of them on goal. So Pretzman definitely has seen a lot of action down there towards the net, and has come up with some pretty good saves. So Cougars now with the ball. Tyler Duffy back pedals to the 30-yard line. Spin moves. Good move there by Duffy. Let's see if he maybe takes the shot instead. Hit the deck and a good good play there by number three, Max Minder. And we will have a timeout on the field. So we'll be right back with you on the Averitt Sports Network after this break. Welcome back, everybody, to the Averitt Sports Network. My name is Tomasini III, and we are going to get right back in action here for you. The 6.05 mark, Randolph Macon leads 24-1. to And we've seen four goals in this third period, all four by Randolph Macon. But the Cougars do have the ball here on the left side of the field. And this one is 
going to be passed over to Duffy. Duffy, good play there to keep this one alive off of the pass. Keeps it on his stick, and he gets it over to Wood. Duffy now uses the screen there by Hobbs. Tries to use his size to get in there. Back behind the net here. Trying to set something up here is Taff, and Taff puts up a heck of a shot there. Good bounce, gets it to go, and the Cougars get on the board here as Connor Taff, who is your all-time leading scorer for the Avery University Cougars, gets that shot to go. So Taff did a wonderful job there being patient and not forcing the pass and ultimately gets him his 25th goal on the year. So let's see if the Cougars can keep that one going as number 22 Connor Taff strikes and ends the run here by the Horn uh, excuse me, the Yellow Jackets. This one's going to go back over to Logan Sinsbox. Back over to Jack Carter. Carter now back up to the middle to number 44, Tyler Dyson. And a great display of passing there as that one's going to go for another goal for the Randolph Macon Yellow Jackets as it looked like number 27 Peyton Rodriguez. And if it was, that would be his third goal on the eve uh, excuse me the afternoon. But regardless, it is now 25 to two Randolph Macon, and they answer the Connor Taft goal. So here is the faceoff after the goal, fighting for it. And picked up by the Yellow Jackets. Back over to number 19, Logan Sinsbox, as that one was scored by Peyton Rodriguez. So Rodriguez for his sixth goal on the year and his third on the afternoon for hat trick for the freshman out of California. Chap Hale now with the ball, just scored his first goal of his career as this one's going to be pushed over by Matt Carter, lets it rip and goes wide left. Matt Carter, a freshman out of Glen Allen, Virginia, put up that shot and missed. So the Yellow Jackets will keep possession here with 3.30 left to go in this third period. And that shot up by Chap Hale over the net and the head of Prutzman. Hale now will have it again after that missed shot. Oh, good pass inside there. Gets that shot to go. Peyton Rodriguez and the assist by Matt Carter. So the two freshmen getting it done there for another Yellow Jackets goal. And so that will get Randolph making up to 26 here. Peyton Rodriguez with his fourth on the afternoon, seventh on the season, and as as I just said, assisted by Matt Carter. So let's see if the Cougars 
get some momentum going here. They did just have a goal a couple minutes ago with Connor Taff. This faceoff is going to be picked up by the Yellow Jackets over towards the 30-yard line. Just under three minutes to go in this third period. And instead, we'll switch it over. The Cougars will take the ball. So Averett will have the ball here. Clock here will start again at the 2.45 mark, and Avert will have it on the left side with Connor Taff, the program's all-time points leader. This one's going to go back over to Hobbs. Hobbs is going to let it rip, and it's a good save by the Yellow Jackets. This one, long pass over towards the 30-yard line, but it'll be scooped back up. Matt Carter now, pass inside, good move, good shot, and good score, again by Peyton Rodriguez. So Rodriguez with his fifth goal on the night and leads the Yellow Jackets in goals now with five. <clears throat> and so for Avert now, the trail in this one, 27 to two. And this face off picked up by the Yellow Jackets. They will move this one back over past to the right side of the field. And so number 25, Stuart Widener, will have it here as he is a sophomore for the Yellow Jackets. And the clock here dwindling down towards the 130 mark in the third period. This one has seen seven goals in the third period by the Yellow Jackets and a goal by Connor Taff for the Cougars. So see how the end of this one shapes out as the Yellow Jackets will have the ball back behind the net towards the X area. And with just 25 seconds to go on the shot clock, we'll have a whistle. And it'll go the other way here. So the Cougars now with a good chance, maybe get one in before the end of this third period as this one, good pass by Pretzman to Etheridge. Etheridge now to Beavers. Beavers stutter steps and passes it all the way across the field. Tried to find number 44 there, Chris Shamira, but the pass went awry, and the Yellow Jackets will have it now. Under a minute to go here in the third period as Beavers tried to get that one on his stick, couldn't, and the Yellow Jackets will take it here. It's number 35. Brandon Good, good now. With 25 seconds left to go in the third period. That shot is gonna be fired, but great save by Prutzman. Off the shot by Stuart Widener. So just two seconds to go. Let's see if Randolph Macon can put up a shot here before they do. It'll go wide over the net, and that will put the third period to rest here. So Randolph Macon College leads this one 27-2 over your Avery University Cougars, and we'll be right back with you for the conclusion of this game and the fourth period right after these messages.
Margaret University provides all you need for your future through learning that embraces all of your infinite potential. With flexible online and on-campus programs, affordable tuition, and over 50 majors and programs. Visit allaverett.com. Are you all in? Welcome back, everybody, to the fourth period of this one between Averett and Randolph-Macon. Randolph-Macon leads this one 27-2 to for the Averett Cougars. You might be wondering, why isn't this senior day? Well, the Averett Cougars are such a young team that they don't have a senior. And so it'll just be the home finale here and just kind of shows you, puts it into perspective, just how young this Averett University Cougars team is the effort they are giving here in just their sixth season of existence. So give Avert credit, very young team here, and this will be their home finale here at Frank R. Campbell Stadium. And so now we kick this fourth period off here with Randolph-Macon. We'll switch sides. Randolph-Macon will be on the left side of the field, Avert on the right side. As just mentioned, the oldest player on Averett, Carnes Half the junior. So just a very, very young team here by the Cougars, obviously. Had the pleasure of sitting down with Tyler Duffy just a couple weeks ago for an interview. He talked about how this team is rebuilding, trying to get back into the right direction here, and the Cougars just take it as a learning experience and try to improve and get better. They're so young, and like we talked about, no seniors on the roster, so therefore it is not a senior day. So. Yellow Jackets now on the left side with the ball. And with number 27, Peyton Rodriguez, who leads the Yellow Jackets in goals today with five. Gets over to Matt Carter. Matt Carter has had a couple pretty good passes to Peyton Rodriguez, the freshman to freshman duo. The second half. Hale now will pass it over to Jack Carter. Carter will pick it back up off his stick. We'll have horn blow, and this one will go over to the Avery Cougars. Shamira now with the ball. Tries to get this one to Etheridge. He does. Jay Etheridge, sophomore out of Chester, Virginia, will have it here. And for Averett, after this one, they will travel to Ferrum College on Saturday to face their rival, the Panthers, in the Old Dominion the Conference action. 7 p.m. as this one is passed over inside. Tried to get it to Powers, couldn't corral it. And now this one will go the other way. The Yellow Jackets running the break here. Good display of passing. And the shot is up, and the shot is good. So the Yellow Jackets, again, add to their total Cannon Varnar gets that one to go out of Winchester, Virginia. So the senior puts one up and in, and it extends the Yellow Jackets lead to 28-2. Ball is on the ground, picked up by the Yellow Jackets, moving it along towards the left side of the field is Peyton Rodriguez, who leads the Yellow Jackets in goals today with five. 
Stuart Widener spins a stick, looks for teammate to pass it to. Looks to Tyler Dyson. And a great defensive play there. Wow, what a play there by Shamira. With the hit, it picks up the ball, spin moves there. Chris Shamira there with a great defensive effort by the Cougars, and now they have the ball. Con Connor Taff will pass it over. Duffy will fire, and Duffy will score. So Tyler Duffy gets his second goal on the day, and a real positive play there all around by the Cougars on the defensive side with Chris Shamira. Connor Taff with the spin move and leads it to a Tyler Duffy goal. So Tyler Duffy with his second goal on the afternoon. Gets the Cougars up to three goals now in this one. For Tyler Duffy, that'll be his 22nd goal on the season. And what a season for the freshman. So now we're back into action here after the Tyler Duffy goal. The Cougars strike in this fourth period. This one's going to be passed inside, but the Yellow Jackets answer right back. And it looked like, try to get that number for you here in a second. That looked like number 19, Logan Synthbox. So the freshman out of Moncton, Maryland, gets that one to go and gets Randolph making up to 29 goals in this one. So quick answer after the Tyler Duffy goal assisted by Connor Taff. As mentioned, Tyler Duffy, 22nd goal on the year. For Synthbox, that is his 11th goal on the year. And we'll have a lost stick here. The whistle go the other way to the Yellow Jackets. So now number 48, Cannon Warnar, who just had a goal in this fourth period. Pass it over. Back behind the net now. Dyson now with 40 seconds left on the shot clock here. Move it around Hernandez. Good defense by Hernandez here, denying Tyson. And a risky pass there by Dyson, but just over the head of his teammates. And we'll flip sides here. The Cougars will take the ball. So now Garay, spin move there to keep the possession going alive for the Cougars. So now this one moved inside by Etheridge. Etheridge is met, though, by a swarm of Yellow Jackets, and now they will run the break here. It's a good effort by Etheridge to try to split the defense there, but better defense by the Yellow Jackets, and we'll flip sides, left side. Just under 10 minutes to go here in this fourth period. Randolph Macon leads 29-3. to We did have a goal by Tyler Duffy, his second on the day. 22nd on the season, and a great assist by Connor Taft. All-time leading point score for the Cougars. <clears throat> and as mentioned earlier, Averett will travel to Ferrum on Saturday to conclude their year, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And last time the Cougars faced Ferrum, they lost 8-6 to six in a pretty tightly contested game March 4th, 2022. So... A lot of juice for that one. Should be a good one. Avery will return to action on Saturday. And this young Avery team, as mentioned, look to finish their season on a high note.
as a team with no seniors looks to get some momentum going in this game and finish up the season at Ferrum for the season finale. This one's passed over but picked up by Matt Carter. And Carter now showing his speed as he runs past the 30-yard line. is going to chuck it all the way to the 35-yard line and set up the possession here for the Yellow Jackets. Hale now will get it all the way over to number 40, Patrick Moyer. So the Yellow Jackets here just kind of swinging it around, trying to drain time. Obviously, they have a big lead here, just trying to get this one to run out as Carter now with 20 seconds on the shot clock. Now, they might try to set something up here as Carter is met by Hernandez. 10 seconds to go on the shot clock here as Carter moves it over inside, puts up that shot, and it's going to go. So, number 10, Matt Carter, the freshman out of Glen Allen, Virginia, gets that one to go and gets Randolph making their 30th goal on the day. So for Matt Carter, that goal is his fourth goal on the season and his third on the afternoon. Excuse me, his second on the afternoon. Fourth goal on the season, unassisted. And it leads to the Yellow Jackets' 30th goal. This one tried to be picked up by Duffy. Still loose. And picked up now. Looked like by number 12, Jacob Ironman, but... Finally picked up by the Yellow Jackets as that ball was loose for quite a while and we'll see the stick of number 27 Peyton Rodriguez number 5 Jack Carter possession of the ball passes it over to Peyton Rodriguez. Just under 40 seconds to go here on the shot clock and for the game clock, 6.15 left in this fourth period of play. <coughs> As Shamira there playing good defense. Jack Carter Over to number zero, Matt. Matt Williams. Matt Williams puts up the shot, and it's going to go. So the junior out of Richmond, Virginia, Matt Williams, puts that one up and gets it to get in. So Randolph Macon now 31 goals in this one. And the junior gets it to go for his third goal on the season. That one was unassisted as well. So a couple of unassisted goals by Randolph Macon, which has not been very common, but we've seen it here in the fourth period. Most of their goals have been coming off of assists. Back over to Peyton Rodriguez. Yellow Jackets now trying to drain time here as we're approaching the five-minute mark. It's fourth period of play. And you see Brandon Good now 
Brandon Good will take a shot, but Putzman will make the easy save there. Pass to Calvin Beavers. This one's going to be turned over now, and Max Minder had an open lane, but elects to take it back and drain some more clock. But Randolph making 47 shots on goal, so very busy day for Cameron Prutzman. Seen a lot of shots, made some pretty good saves. As we mentioned in the pregame, he set the freshman record uh, for single saves against Bridgewater College. Just under four minutes to go here as the Yellow Jackets will move this one over. Rodriguez over to Carter. Good defense by Jay Etheridge there. Carter now. Looked like he was going to line up a shot. Only five seconds to go. This one will go all the way out of play. And it looks like it will be the Cougars ball with a fresh shot clock of 80 seconds. So with 3.30 left, let's see if the Cougars can try to get this one inside and get a goal before this one concludes. So we've seen two Tyler Duffy goals and the Connor Taft goal, but it would be really nice to see Averitt try to move this one inside and get a goal, get some momentum going into this Ferrum game as we talked about. Play Ferrum on Saturday. It'll be the last game for Averitt this season. Young Cougars squad. Try to get something going here. Just under three minutes to go as it'll be number five, Anthony Garay. Garay will move inside. Looked like he might have had a shot there, but good defense. Randolph Macon will go back the other way to the left side of the field. As uh, so that'll be Brandon Good now with a full head of steam. Passes it over to Peyton Rodriguez. And Randolph Macon will slow it up. Try to drain more time here. As we are approaching the two-minute mark here is Randolph making some good sportsmanship here, just passing it around, slowing it down, trying to drain as much time as possible. It's been a successful day for the Yellow Jackets here. And for the Cougars, I've just talked about here, very young team, tough game. Has not been their day, but try to get some momentum here maybe before this one ends. As we have 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Matt Carter now a pump fake. And loses it. Now the Cougars will have it. This one's going to be passed over to Hernandez. Hernandez now running all the way down the field. 118 left to go in this one. So now this could be the Cougars shot here to maybe get a goal. Get some momentum going to the Ferrum game. Jay Etheridge now will move this one around. Tries to find Duffy, but good defense. Etheridge will instead elect to move this one inside. It's Connor Taft, there he is, moves it over right side of the field. 30 seconds left to go on the shot clock. 34 seconds to go on the game clock. It's Tyler Duffy now, two goals in this one. Looking for the hat trick here. Moves it back behind the net in the X area. Just under 20 seconds to go here for the Cougars. 10 seconds to go on the shot clock. 
Etheridge now loses it. It's on the ground, and it'll be moved all the way back out over towards the middle of the field. We'll have the whistle here. That'll stop the clock at just three seconds. And now the clock will wind out, and this one will conclude with Randolph Macon with a 31-3 to win over your Avery University Cougars. And... That one will put an end to this one. Averett will be back in action next Saturday, as we mentioned, when it travels to Ferrum College for an ODAC matchup at 7 p.m. against their conference foes. It will be their last game of the year, so make sure to tune into that one. And stay here with us on the Averett Sports Network as we'll have a new broadcast coming for you in just a little bit as the Averett women's lacrosse team will be taking on Randolph-Macon College in their game at 4.30, so be sure to tune into that. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the bell for all notifications and highlights from the Avery University Cougars. My name is Thomas Heaney III. So long, friends.